Is death the ultimate healing for Christians? Hi, welcome to today's little lesson. Thank you so much for joining me. It is a delight to be able to share in God's Word together. Now, if you are a regular viewer, you know that, boy, for like almost 20 little lessons, we've been talking about themes related to divine healing. And if, if you've missed all 20 of those previous lessons, and you just happen to, you know, find yourself watching this right now, you, you've missed a lot of teaching that would be uh, relevant if you're looking for, for healing or if you know somebody who's looking for healing. But a, a, a statement that's often made within Christian circles is when, when a Christian becomes ill or diseased and uh, everybody prays, because there's this idea that if we can just get enough people praying, that's the, that's the ticket. But I can tell you from experience and from the Bible, that's not the ticket. You know, Jesus never said to anyone whom he healed, you got enough people praying for you, buddy. You reached the quota. <laughs> so I'm going to heal you. You can't find anything in the Bible like that. We reached the quota, the prayer quota. Enough people prayed, bombarded heaven, and so we needed, you know, at least 10,000 prayers, and oh, we reached that, and so now I'm going to do something. No. Isn't it funny how, you know, we, 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 we think that. I don't know why we think that. Trying to get as many people as we can to pray. No, Jesus most often credited people's faith when it came to healing. And we've talked about that over and over again. So it's not numbers of prayers, prayers, but it's the kind of prayer, the prayer of faith. Now, there's much more to be said about that. In fact, in my next lesson, I'm going to talk about um, praying for other people to be healed. Because that's a very important subject. And, um, and you know, because we have probably all know people that we'd love to be healed, and so we're, we're praying for them. But I want to talk about what is commonly heard in Christian circles of people, you know, or sick, or diseased, whatever. Everyone prays, they pray, but they die. And uh, they didn't get the healing. But then someone will inadvertently say, well, they got the ultimate healing. You know, they, they went to heaven. So I I is that true? Well, I'd say yes. In, 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 in one sense, it certainly is. You know, when you leave your body behind, you're not sick any or diseased anymore. <laughs> you're not in your body anymore. You're in heaven if you're a believer in Jesus, see? So I guess you could call that the ultimate healing, you know? I mean, the best thing could happen to any of us right now, personally, is that we would die and go to heaven. Now, that might not be God's will for us right now. Obviously, it's not because he has a purpose for us being remaining here. And it's because he wants us to be a blessing to other people. All right, so it's not your time. You don't want to go before your time. Um, so, so that's one reason, that's one, one motivation to want to be healed because I want to bear more fruit well, because, you know, once I'm in heaven, I don't, I, I don't have a chance. I'm no longer, you know, in the world with the people that are in, in darkness who need the light that I have. I'm up there with all the people in the light, in the glory, walking the streets of gold, you know. So that's one reason I want to be healed is so I can stay here and serve others and give God more glory here on this earth. But when you die, do you get the ultimate healing? Well, yes, it's a wonderful thing. You know, I mean, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints, Psalm 115 and verse number 16, I believe. Um, you know, I believe the Bible tells us that, you know, at the death of one of God's people, there's an angel or angels that escort them uh, to heaven. You know, it's a very important thing to God and uh, very precious. And, you know, it, it is the ultimate healing. Nevertheless, um, the will to live is very strong, of course, in every human being. And um, 
you know, if you're terminally ill and you say, well, I'll just get the ultimate healing and go to heaven. Okay, but if you've watched the last 20 little lessons, you know, there's a good reason for Christians to, to, to look to the Lord for healing. And, and again, if faith is a component, which it obviously is, as we've discussed over and over again, then it would be certainly better, I would think, rather than to just to kind of say, well, I'll just take the ultimate healing and go to heaven, let this sickness take its course or this disease take its course. How about just be healed, right? I mean, and then you, you get more time to serve the Lord here on this earth and glorify his name. And you've got a great testimony once you're healed, right? Right. Uh, so that could even make you all that much more effective in sharing Jesus with other people. Now, someone will say, yeah, you know, but the most important thing is forgiveness of sins and not healing. Well, you're right. You're absolutely right. Who would ever argue with that? You know, the body is just a temporary container and the spirit, the soul, you know, that we're talking about eternal things now. And it's much more important that we believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior and receive eternal life and forgiveness of sins, forgiveness of sins than it is that we receive physical healing for any sickness or illness in our bodies. People, people say, we all have to die of something. Well, that's what you think. But, and of course, on every, on every you know, death certificate, I guess they put the cause of death or, you know, <laughs> they, they're always looking for a reason. What, 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 why did he die? Well, his heart stopped beating. Well, that's a heart attack. Well, a, a blood vessel in his brain burst. Well, that's a stroke. Um, yeah, we cannot stop uh, death. And, and, and I'm not claiming that. And I can't imagine anyone's claiming that. The outer man is decaying, Paul wrote. The inner man's being renewed day by day. But the outer man, that's why I've got gray hair. See, I don't have faith to not have gray hair. That's why I'm wearing uh, reading glasses. I, I don't have faith that my eyes are, you know, are going to be like they were when I was 20 years of age. Um, so the outer man decays. I know I'm going to die. Something's going to probably go wrong in my body. And I pray that uh, it, it happens quickly, that no long protracted illness and so forth. Um, and I, I, I just think we have biblical reason to, to, to believe that. That's what I believe. Okay. And uh, I'd rather be a believer than a doubter. And I'd rather, I'd rather for God just to say, you know what, it's time for you to come home, David. And so let's just, uh, let's just stop your body from functioning or let's just get your spirit out of your body and your body will cease to work. Right? Right. Uh, you don't have to have protracted illnesses or illness to die. You can just slump over. And there are people that do that. And they're gone. And there might be some little malfunction in their body, that, but it's not any protracted illness or disease. Okay, well, there's much more to be said. I got one more thing I want to talk about that, and that's praying for healing for other people. Okay? And uh, it's an important one. And... Uh, 